Hi, I'm Sarah. We're here in the exciting city of Abu Dhabi to learn more about the future of autonomous driving. Did you know Abu Dhabi is home to an exciting experiment in self-driving cabs? I wanted to see for myself what it feels like to sit in an autonomous taxi and to meet the folks behind this cutting edge project. And looks like my taxi's here now. Hey, there's somebody in here. I thought this was supposed to be an autonomous taxi. Are you the chauffeur? It's for safety. For safety? Yeah. Okay, but hands off the wheel. I want a fully autonomous experience, please. Pretty crazy to see that steering wheel turning itself. Wow. Up next, we'll be meeting the CEO of Bionaut, the company behind Taxi. They just finished their first pilot project here on Yaz Island, and they've got big plans for the second half of 2022. I can't wait to find out what they're up to. We are headed to the Yas Marina Circuit, the home of the Formula One Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and one of the most technically advanced racing tracks in the entire world. This circuit can hold more than 40,000 spectators in the grandstands. There is no one in sight. Course is pretty empty, although I do see one person. Hi, you must be Hassan. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How was the ride? The ride was amazing. So smooth. Tell me about the test phase. Phase one, which was successfully implemented last year, had a fleet of five cars, uh, nine hotspots in Yas Island, fully level four enabled cars, but with uh, a safety officer in each car. And we successfully completed our phase, exceeding even our expectations and number. So what still needs improving here? So we're expanding geographically to include Yas Island along with Sadiat Island. And we're expanding our fleet to include more uh, taxis and maybe some minibuses and other vehicles as well. I know that there are various technologies that go into autonomous driving. Which one are you relying on? We went with the entire spectrum of sensors, mainly uh, leveraging the capability of LADAR, which gives high precision data, ensuring more safety to the passengers and to ensure that we can go fully level four without any driver, without any challenges or any, any regulation principles from the government side. That's pretty exciting. I'm gonna have to come back when that happens. Yes, we'll hold you to that as well. <laughs> I look forward to it. Hassan, thank you so much. Thank you. An easy way to think about the levels of autonomous driving that admittedly purist will quibble with is that as you move through the levels and up your body, you get more freedom. So think of it like this. Level one, your feet have to be on the brakes and the gas. Level two, your feet can come off. Level three, your hands can come off the wheel. Level four, your mind can be elsewhere, reading a newspaper, for example. And level five, you can get out of the car completely because a level five autonomous car can operate independently in any environment or weather conditions. This is a level four taxi operating today as a level three car for safety reasons. Abu Dhabi is one of the most modern cities in the world. The cityscape itself is a fantastic blend of soaring skyscrapers and classic Arabic elements, plus generously developed streets. In between, however, you can still find magical traces of 1001 nights. Our next interview will be at Wahat Al Karama with Bayanat's chief operating officer, Abdullah Al Shamsi. You must be Abdullah. So nice to meet you. It's my job to meet you as well. So this is an ambitious undertaking. What was the biggest challenge so far? Regulation. And I do believe that this is a global challenge that facing everyone. Tell me about the response from users. How did they respond to seeing self-driving taxis appear on Yaz Island? We almost doubled the number of order. So they were very excited. Everyone was very interested in trying the new technology. What was the collaboration like with the regulators here in the UAE? Very supportive. This is something they were all honestly uh, having it on their mind, but they need the push. And we support them and assist them on make this happen. Thank you so much for You're your time. Welcome. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Wow, what a sunset. A real wonderful payoff after our whirlwind tour through Abu Dhabi and the future of autonomous driving. I hope you enjoyed our little road trip as much as I did. To learn more about the future of autonomous driving, join us on the IAA Mobility Visionary Club. We're bringing together industry insiders, tech leaders, and suppliers to talk about where the future of mobility is headed and what we can expect next. 
For now, though, it's time to say goodbye to our taxi and see you next time.